Ooh. <coughs> Hello, beautifuls. Welcome back to my Chanel and this, my loves. This special week because I'm actually away from London this week. So you get this outfit twice. <laughs> Usually I'm not a dirty outfit repeater. That is a joke. But today I'm going to be a severe outfit repeater. Severe outfit repeater, does that sound correct? Daytime tweed with an evening chiffon. Currently I'm actually test running a makeup. I have an event uh, on the... 12th of March, which isn't too far away actually. And I'm trying to like test run a hair and makeup for it that's gonna be like, it's good, it needs to survive some vigorous dancing, vigorous dancing hair, vigorous dancing face. I hope that this will work and this is what it looks like. Oh, isn't it glamorous? I'm still not the best at doing this like victory roll style idea because my hair is actually really long at the front now and you kind of need a little bit of shorter hair to do it. And I'm not gonna cut my hair for a victory roll girls. But you might be asking, what does that have to do with today's episode Luxaria? And the answer is is absolutely nothing because today is another episode of Janice Dickinson's modeling. <laughs> now that Susan is stepping down, we shall have to find out the name of her successor so we can go, Blah's gonna get me, girls. I bet it's probably like Maurice or Chivon. This is quite possibly the most chaotic intro I have done. On the last episode of Janice Dickinson's modeling, mm -hmm. We saw this difficult situation that Sorin couldn't talk about his tattoo as fluently as he would have liked to and therefore was left out of the uh, the modelling for that specific event, which was only apparently getting naked and standing on a table anyway, whilst Janice was like, Yes! To exist, girl! Anyway, I have it on good authority, my loves, that he actually is a model for To Exist now and is in fact still on their website because they are still a flourishing business, which is actually quite nice to see because I think Janice Dickinson's modelling agency is completely different. Defunct, girls. So, my loves, are you ready for today's episode, which is episode six, and I believe it's called It's Official. Reality-based fashion style. Janice holds a pink carpet event. Now, I do dislike the concept of a pink carpet because I'm very much a fan of the phrase, like, if it's not broken, don't fix it. Like, a red carpet event has glamour, ostentatiousness to it. The stars are going to be on the red carpet. The only pink carpets I've seen have been outside of a very specific dessert-style restaurant here in London. And those pink carpets are not glamorous, let me tell you that. That is disgusting! Well, my lovelies, get your beverages at the ready. Today I am on the cream soda again because I need something a little bit sweet in my life. And this isn't actually zero calories, it's 30 calories per can. <gasps> can you imagine? And with that, my loves, why don't we pop in the orange? Yes, pop in the little orange. Oh. And let's watch Janice Dickinson's modeling. <laughs> Janice surprised her client by traveling to New York City. If I have to worry about anybody, Surprise I think it would be more client. about Janice than now yes. <laughs> creating a spectacle. Where her exactly. models bared it all. I present you to exist! But tonight, a planned ribbon cutting ceremony. We officially launched the agency to the rest of the world. Oh my god! Will mark the opening of the agency. Oh. I didn't sleep at all last night. Today was the most important day. Look at that necklace. Look at that necklace. Oh my goodness. Body slit beads galore. She is so like skeletal muscle. Do you know what I mean? Like she is just like bone and muscle. That's all Janice is. And I'm not saying I hate her, to be honest. Like and Janice travels to Palm Springs. <gasps> Look at that the outfit. City of Palm Springs, and would like to welcome all of you. But a party. Welcome to the white party. Will end in a fashion disaster. Janice up by jumping in a water fountain in a one of a kind dress that is now destroyed. Which threatens the grand opening of the agency. Our three girls are wearing the Kaimela dresses. The dresses are here. Correct. <gasps> on the Janice Dickinson. What a surprise! Janice's activity is bad. Oh, here we go. Thing. She's got gout. Put a belt on your head. Do the fashion, fashion, fashion on the game. Hairspray. The planet. <laughs> Oh, a statement belt and a wig and a dog. Flip your phone. Oh. Here we go, in the valley. The in Valley of days, Shadows. We're going to have the ribbon cutting ceremony for the As Janice she Dickinson the Modeling Agency. And I will have the honor She's having her hair of having two the window. fitting my models for the event. Kai Miller for the women and Elmer Av for the men. My models okay. will get the experience of being cast by a legitimate client. In addition, I still need to hire bookers to get my models working so they can make a living. So how many people need to work for an agency? Is that not what you would be doing? A booker in order to be like, hello, would you like to come and get my models, girl? But the idea that in this episode, what are we episode? Are we episode six? I forget. Episode five, I think. Episode five? 
No, episode six. This is episode six. And this is the opening of the agency to the world. And she's like, we need to book our models with a legit client. And it's like, well, you've already had like three now, three clients. Like, are they, are none of them legit? Or is it two? It might be two, actually. We had the ladies in the shoes and the bikinis and the like dramatic makeup. And then we had the boys being like, look at my testicles, girl. Marcel is going to absolutely snapshot that for Twitter, isn't he? I'm going to cream. They were wearing leather and lace. Leather and lace. Kai Miller, because she's going to a fitting there, and it'd be really rude to show up in anything but Kai Miller. Are we late? Yeah, we have to We need to water the plants. Listen, here's the deal today. Kai Miller is hugely important for us. Let's go sell them. Okay? I don't know how Janice has it, but she has this face that just really works well with makeup. Like, a really dark eye and a pink lip is actually quite a difficult look to pull off. I think, I'd like to think that I pull it off sometimes, but I always feel a bit, like, too young wearing a pink lip. I always feel a bit like, oh, I look like I'm, like, 19 again. Whereas on Janice... It doesn't make her look young. It just makes her look like a powerful woman in pink. Although I like how powerful she is and how powerful she tries to be, it does step over the edge of just complete bonkersness and actually quite grating to people around you. In order to be a powerful person in business, not only do you have to make sure your owner looked after, but you're not turning on them as well. I feel like... You can be protective and powerful by really setting examples of just how well you look after your employees and your clients and your, I guess in this situation, models. But she doesn't. She's She comes across very catty. I don't know. I'm in two minds about it because she is kind of like fascinating to watch in like a really bizarre way. And I do like her outfits and, and maybe like 10% of her attitude, but it just quickly goes directly off the scales and over the cliff, my loves. Camilla is an amazing designer of couture. Camilla. And her husband happens to be Stevie Wonder. We had asked Camilla to dress some of the models for the agency's ribbon cutting ceremonies. Oh. You should look couture fitting models. All of you get a rubber band and put your hair back. You have too much eye makeup on, take it down. Take the Wonder bras off, spit the gum out. What? No gum, all right? No gum. I was nervous about coming into Camilla's today because I did not know if my girls were going to be able to deliver. Just Ooh. go in there, suck in your stomach, be chic, and just do the best job you can. Kind of good advice. I'm so mad, let me see. Okay, can I first say that I am so honored to be here in your studio wearing your clothes? I'm Kai Mila, I'm a designer. I am working on my next collection. I had the opportunity to look at the girls from the Janet's Modeling Agency. This team is just, to me, extraordinary. Now we've got a role. We've said time is money, couture is money. Absolutely. So let's, let's see the first money. girls. Okay. Okay. Couture is money. Oh, here we go. Models on the runway. Oh, that's Each the American Center model lady. For a particular body type and look. So they handpick each model, which they feel represents best their line. Yes. I like Tina very much. I think she's really pretty and quite mm -hmm. exotic. She has a very, yeah, definitely exotic. The eyes, too. I love that. Next girl. She has, this is my girl. Uh -huh. She is my pick. I don't know. I, the, I'm not into the look. <gasps> Maybe it's just a little too young for uh, the, the, I don't know. Janice will tell you, oh, great. Perfect. The and then I'm up here on this totem pole. And then Kai Miller comes in and just chops it all down. And I'm like, huh? Like, what was that all about? Crystal's lost 15 pounds in the last two months. Wow. She dropped it like that. She wants it bad. Let me just say everybody is great. You really are. I mean, there are definitely some potential here. And uh, we would just like to pick. There was three girls that I thought was very interesting. Tamika. Oh. Hi, can you just come forward for a second? Oh. Stina. Is that Crystal? Yeah. Okay. You three get to wear Kai's clothes for the ribbon cutting. <laughs> Today I took a huge step to becoming a high fashion model, which is something I never true. thought I'd be able to say. Crystal Trueheart. That's such a gorgeous, like, fantasy novel name. Crystal Trueheart, witch of the northern mountains. After today, what else can happen? Like, what can get better than today? I mean, being at different castings, you know, certain people oh, want a certain look, favorite. and sometimes I, I'm not the look they want. And when they pick somebody, Look who we haven't seen. Look who we haven't seen. Do you remember when she signed Claudia, the trans woman, a few episodes ago? We haven't seen her since. She's just kind of like, I reckon she's been employed to like teach the models how to walk rather than actually be a model herself. And I feel like that's so... Like Janice is not an ally. Absolutely not. Else besides me, I feel like sometimes maybe they didn't look long enough or look at us better. 
think it's difficult to be overlooked by a client when you watch other models get jobs because you don't know exactly what they're looking for. You have to get used to knowing that you're going to be rejected constantly. Yeah. That even though you may feel good about yourself, that particular day somebody else may not like you at all. I mean, I said this in the last episode, actually. It's not a case, try not to think of it as rejection. It's out of your control. It's not a decision that you've actually, like, expressed forwards and then been cut down. It's just that you were there and you weren't exactly the thing that they were looking for. That's not rejection. It doesn't mean that they won't work with you in future. It doesn't mean that they're not going to refer you to their friends and family and other business associates. It just means for that piece of the puzzle, your pieces didn't fit. And that is not the same as rejection, even though I know that rejection is hurtful. It still makes you kind of go, Oh, I wish, for goodness sake! But also, it's very dignified to be, thank you so much for considering me today. Hopefully I will see you in the future. No need to burn those bridges because the sense of rejection is an emotion that's too powerful. We're gonna put some clothing on you and see how you, you know, how the clothing fit, how it drapes. Take a look at this, Jen. Oh, here we go. Ooh. I've never in a oh, million years it. would have imagined wearing Tanika any type of Robinson. clothes like that in my whole life. I don't even own that kind of stuff. And this is what I've been trying to work for my whole life. Oh, Christina, you look beautiful and her breasts look <gasps> great. Look at that. I love Shut that. Up. Shut up! Where am I wearing that? Camilla's approval means everything to me because she is couture. For my girls being approved by Camilla, it's a huge stamp of success. Oh, I for love that already. outfit on the edge. Early... That is so fashion forward, that outfit on the edge with the big collar. That is so almost like cyberpunk, viper futuristic, post apocalyptic, monochrome power. I love it. Absolutely love it, girls. You could wear that as like a piece today and people would be like, oh, you are the forefront of fashion. And this was 2006. I feel like I need to look into some Camilla clothes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Kai. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> hey, come Men's on fitting. Janice Dickinson. Nice to meet you. All right. Uh, my name's Colin Pulsifer. I'm representing Elmer Ave today, and we came to fit some of Janice's male models for the ribbon cutting ceremony. This is Elmer Avenue. Elmer Avenue is edgy, and this is for the ribbon cutting, but they're a huge client that I want them all to truly, truly get you. Hey! Huge client. But you don't have any because you're not open yet, but all right. Take your jacket off right now. You, you, you're not edgy enough. I'm sorry. You're just not. I need you to be edgier. Can you cut, cut his hair right now? Get Judd to do it. Not in my agency, in the other room. We need help. I'm about to get my hair cut to be more of an edgy look. Am I edgy now? Well, we're gonna, we have a lot more to do. Oh. He is kind of cute. I almost had a heart attack while he was cutting me because I had no idea it was happening. And then I looked in the mirror and I was like, eh, I can, I can work this. This is definitely. Is it edgy? Is that edgy? Was that considered edgy in 2006? I guess it kind of would be. That kind of like, we hadn't yet had like the F-boy hairstyle that's everywhere at the moment. That hadn't quite happened yet. It was very like, short back and sides was in, but like short back and sides, but long on top. So I guess it kind of is more like punky, very sort of like matte hair clay advert. Do you know what? Very VO5, very VO5. Oh, they want him. That's it anymore? The edge. We love all of you guys. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. We've got one more. Get him dressed. It looks fabulous. Oh. I really, 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 really appreciate you coming by. We ended up with some really cool models today. They're going to definitely pull it off. They've got the right attitude, the right hair, and it's going to be good. Round of boys. I'm really confused about what's actually happening here. So she's she's having an event for her own agency, but behaving as if these fashion designers that she's going to are clients of her own agency. So is this a full circle moment or is she trying to do that business thing of like, if you lend us some clothes for this event, we'll represent you and get you some jobs. No, how would that work? Because she's an agent. The designers don't work for her. She works for the designers. That's what? So I'm very confused as to what is happening. She's having an opening ceremony and inviting people there. So I, is Janice the client in this situation? I've oh, cracked the code, girl, girl. girl. she's got a degree. Is Janice going to pay her models for doing this? I'm so confused. Who's going to be giving the check later in the episode? Round of boys, let's get the hell out of here. Goodbye. With preparations underway party. for my ribbon cutting for the grand opening of my agency, I had to take a trip to Palm Springs because of I did. received the honor of being crowned the queen of the white party. Thank you. Oh. The white party happens every year. Uh, so 
I've never really quite understood what a white party is. Me and Callum have this joke of like, oh, are you wearing white to go to the whites party? I don't quite understand what a white party is. Is it to do with like, is it like a wealthy white people thing? Or is it like, you go like, it's like a, is, does it have like, is it like steeped in like Hollywood history or something? Do you know what I mean? Although I don't really know where Palm Springs is. Is it like, I imagine it's near to Hollywood. It all sounds very like Beverly Hills, Hollywood, Palm Springs. That sort of thing. Are these anywhere near each other? I know nothing about America. I need to read Wikipedia on America. The white party happens every year. Oh, here we go. Um, anywhere between three and 8,000 gay men who pretty much go there to oh. be free. Oh. Hello, everyone. Oh, shows what I know about anything. <laughs> Welcome all of you to the White Party. It gives me great pleasure to introduce to you at this time the Janice Queen of the White Party, and here she is. Oh, she does look. Welcome to the White Party. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Janice Dickinson. a bunch of queens getting together. I must admit, if there's one thing the gays love, it's a supermodel, isn't it? Oh, right. touch me in the bed! The first super- I was the world's first supermodel, girls! It's a bunch of queens getting together and basically making absolute fools of themselves. The biggest queen of them all walking around with a big white feathered hat. It was a scouting for me and also a chance to announce the Janice Dickinson Agency. I'm looking for models, so beware, I'm here. I suppose. was at the white party that was his dress was his design a beautiful white designer couture dress that dress was borrowed specifically from Kaimila as a sample there's one in the world is it a one of a kind yes how mad would you be if i if i dove in in it <laughs> i would kill you oh my god i would kill you girls so this is the thing that I kind of think of. I know I understand wearing like couture to an event, but why would you wear a one of a kind couture piece to like a hot, sweaty, greasy pool party? That just screams storyline error to me. But of course this whole episode could just be filled with drama and do absolutely nothing else outside of that. I must admit this episode does not feel as fast paced as the episodes we've seen previously. I don't know what this bodes well for my loves, but maybe there's somewhat of a storyline going to happen here because now that they've said, would you be angry at me jumping in the pool? We just know, we just know, we just know that she's gonna go head first straight into the well girls. Hello. Where Home. Been the queen of the white party. And I ran into Reuben from Kaimilla, the designer who created my dress. How mad would you be if I, if I dove in in it? I would kill you. I mean, it's Where not. Where the white party is held, there's an amazing white fountain. Janice, I guess, decided to step into the. A white fountain. But also, does this dress look like one of a kind, top tier, haute couture, never been seen before? Does it look like that? To me, it kind of looks like just a long A-line white dress. But that doesn't mean, like, I'm not a fashion designer. I don't have an eye for, like, the finer details of a garment. Sometimes I do just feel like the haute couture world is just money laundering, like the fine art industry. Hmm. Maybe it's not. Let me know what you guys think in the comments box below. Have I just offended every single human being on the planet there? I can't stop looking at myself. I look so good today. I really popped off, wig sis. Janice, I guess, decided to step into the fountain. Oh. Lucky for me, I had my camera with me, so I did follow her into the fountain. I was pissed off. I was saying no, yeah, but no, why? no, no, no. Why would she? Why? Dolce Vita moment. A moment like that, where it's just an impromptu photo session, sometimes are just the best photographs ever because they're real. We have some amazing shots. The dress did look good underwater. I went for it. I'll go to any lengths to make a good photograph. Yeah, but and that's why? that's what a model should do. But why did you do it? You weren't doing anything. I mean, sure. I mean, they look kind of acceptable. The first photo was much nicer than this one. This one's just a bit like, uh, what's happening? I can't wait to see how this turns out. <laughs> Palm Springs, it was hot. 
Duke, photograph me. The pictures are phenomenal, and you can't even see your face. The lighting is terrible. Again. The lighting is terrible, sis. Hey, it and that was the dress they were going to manufacture for their spring collection. Janice, as a model, forgot when you get something like Italian linen wet, it shrinks instantly, and in your cut, your shape, your form is gone. I was incorrect to do it, but I'd still do it again. I'm really, really sorry. Oh my gosh. No respect, no respect, no respect at all. Would you, as a client, a designer client wanting models now, because she's obviously, she's selling her models to clients, that's what she does. Would you ever think, do you know what? Yeah, really like that. Really love she took that one of a kind piece. Threw it straight in the pond, girl. Yes, yeah, Samara, love it. Yeah, world's first. I don't think. Oh. Oh, here we go. Oh. Don't you stand when a lady comes in? I didn't know you were coming in. <laughs> Good morning, partner. The most important things for us to get done right now is still to build our infrastructure. I wanted to hire one booker that just comes in here and pops on every level. Business and fashion. Pops her and pussy girls. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to search around as hard as I can to find that. Infrastructure, infrastructure, infrastructure. That's going to be our key word right now. Okay. Oh, oh, this is Look, at, see, you. you see how calm this section is? See how calm this is? There's no overarching drama of madness. It's just like, we're going to conduct some interviews. Here are some people. We need some infrastructure. Blah de blah de blah pussy pop blah. Blah de 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 blah. Oh, blah de blah de blah. Oh, yes, nice. Blah. Oh, blah de blah. Hi. How Hi. do you do? Thank you. She's in I a different outfit. A booker is the person that I have to rely on. No to continuity. Pick up the phone, to negotiate, to keep an eye on the models. A booker keeps me on track. A booker basically does everything for the agency. We have a. So what do you do then? Are. Cool. What's his name? He's in a different Cody outfit Pop. again. She's in a different outfit. This uh, there is no continuity to this entire season. Like in the last twenty seconds, I was going to call her Sharon. <laughs> in the last twenty seconds, Janice has been in three different outfits. There is no storyline to this entire season. Like, where's the continuity? Where is it? How are we meant to believe that? Like, this is the same day, the same morning. We're going to see so many people come in. We're going to interview them and find a booker, and that he's found one apparently. So who are all those people we saw come in earlier? Well, who were they? Who are these? people all about why is there now a booker from new york what was the what was the point cool what's his name his name is cody foster cody foster good name cody hey! or oh, a very twink name welcome smelcom hello hello what's shaking bacon you learn how to become a booker where milan in new york i seem Ooh. to trust cody period there's just something about him that i get i don't know well ham i like Ooh. him i think if this works like we all think ham i've had enough of ham this is a picture of his wife's slit for me, it's the opportunity to be a part of something from the ground up. And uh, that's not always something that comes around every day. Just no. The challenge and the growth Often it of doesn't work. was enough for me, for sure. Let's get him in. Um, thank you so much. Well, that was easy. How easy was that? Where is he? The interview was, where did you learn? Today Wonderful. ribbon cutting ceremony. We officially okay. launched the agency to the rest of the world. Have you ever had to no. no. Okay, so we're going to start at back. I got picked by Janice to wear the two exist underwear line, the ribbon cutting, and so they didn't want any tan lines, I love so his they voice. had me back here getting spray tan. <gasps> but tan today. Sorry. It's the first time when I got the spring tan, so I think it's pretty cool. I feel like windy. I don't have any lines, any nothing, so I'm going to be perfect for the show. It feels windy. Oh. Start with this. Dude, check out this button. man. Oh, it's hot, man. These are my pants here. Female model preparation. That's not good. What? Here. We might have a little problem. Um, what? Camilla's not here yet. Oh. And they should have been here. And for the fitting for the clothes? Yeah. Our three girls are wearing the Camilla dresses. The dresses aren't here. Correct. Oh my god. What? Seriously, I can't wear this. Like, what are we gonna do? They're really upset. You're not going to do anything, sis. You're models. You can make anything look amazing. You could go out there in a f***ing diaper. You're perfect. Some You're beautiful. Them. You look like Linda Evangelista. You're a model. Did you stone those tights? 
Oh, you're smiling. They eat her up every single time. They're like, Valentina, your smile is beautiful. It's it's the agency's fault, and it's also the designer's issue here, because why? Is there is there attention? Should we find out if there's it is their attention, darling? Should we find out? Happened in Palm Springs uh, with Janice, because she was wearing a Camilla dress, and she jumped into that. Oh, yes, of course. It. They ruined it? Yes, she jumped into the fountain at the hotel. We have literally an hour and a half to make this happen. Right, and we have press arriving. The drama. Yeah, we, we need that press. Okay. The drama. Is this Janice's fault? Coming up. Oh, oh peace. Nice. The Janice Dickinson modeling agency. Oh, a nice pink it's belt. It's 10 a.m. Uh, Ethan just ran up to me and said there was a big problem there. Unfortunately, Kaimia nor her dresses have showed up. Um, he then told us what had happened, where uh, Janice had jumped in a fountain in a one-of-a-kind dress, and I everybody literally there said was I very pissed work. off. I understand there were some phone calls that weren't returned. It made us look very unprofessional. I've tried to reach Janice. I don't know where she is. Cringe. I've left messages on her phone. She's not picking up. So now we She's found ourselves tending her window box. Ceremony on the line. A huge. Why did we, why did we, why did we, why did we need a shot there of Soren fixing his underwear? Why was that needed? You could have just shown the audience outside waiting, but no, you thought you'd go, oh, look at their buttocks, girl. They're uncouth. This show treats their models with no dignity. Huge crowd has gathered outside. I've got CNN, Extra, and Inside Edition, and everybody else waiting Extra. for this show. And I don't have any dresses for our models. Oh, sounds Everyone like you've got a... Over a <laughs> sounds like you're in a crisis. I'm on my way. Oh, really Our outfit's not here, and I can't go down the red carpet looking like this. No, f off. What are you doing? No, get them the f out of here. She's you having a moment, girls. Janice f up really bad. She was really disrespectful to Ty Miller by jumping in a water fountain in a one of a kind dress that is now destroyed. It's just a matter of, you know, professionalism and propriety. You know, it's not, it's not an emotional thing, it's a, uh, you know, uh, just a respect thing out of, you know. Kai's not gonna come at all, but you guys are still providing the clothing, though. Yes, we are. Thank you so Kai's much. Kai's not I, going. I really, I really, she really saw appreciate through it, it girls. We want you and Kai. I understand that uh, some some feelings were hurt, and we'll definitely address that after today. I'm really sorry for what happened. I know it was one of those spur of the moment, crazy things, and we're gonna make this up to you somehow. Okay? Okay, Peter. Thank you so much. All right, talk to you later. Bye-bye. Wow. Janice's crazy behavior is jeopardizing the business, really our business. Yes. Camille is a good designer and a potential very big client. I don't know how I'm going to make this business a success. And she's ruined she it. She's pulling these kind of stunts. But also, this is completely manufactured tripe, this entire show. For all we know, I don't know if these people are actually the people they say they are. I don't know if that man on the phone there was actually someone to do with Kai's agency or Kai's designer house, shall I say. But I also don't know if this is just, you know, like, maybe she's going to come in at the last minute and Janice is going to be like, Ah, yeah, I brought some pasties, go. Oh, I'm waiting for my dress. It was supposed to be here at about 10 o'clock and we oh. started at 11, so... Hopefully it'll be here in time. We'll keep our fingers crossed. Well, welcome to the modeling industry, I suppose. Everything is 48 hours late. Oh. Oxygen! Thank you so much. Oh. I mean, I'm serious. Ruben delivers. I'll, I'll, oh, I'll Ruben's the designer. Right. I need her right now. I'm oh, sorry, Jed. Drop them, girls. Quick fitting, quick fitting. Kind of pulled that one off, huh? Ooh. They weren't even going to show up with the dresses. Drama. <laughs> Drama. Our dresses are here from Kaimila. I'm so excited. It's beautiful. Uh, except it's a little X rated at this part. Sometimes my bits fall out, but you know, I've You need to tape. Uh, uh, well, you they know, should have given you tape. Of, um, Booby tape. Um, a very dynamic individual with the name of the agency. Exactly. Oh, here she is. I couldn't sleep at all last night. Today was the most important day of my life. On this way. And on this side, Jen. It's been a lifelong dream on the red carpet, which is fuchsia, to happen for me today. I, this show is just like an indulgent Janice experience. It's nothing to do with the models. It's nothing to do with the modeling agency. It's all about Janice as a celebrity. It's not like she's not professional. She always wants to be like the center of attention. She wants to be the model that is like, Oh, well, I just had a water fountain adventure photograph, sis, and it's on the cover of Vogue now. But we saw the hateful lighting and we saw the destroyed dress. Don't think that's quite the case, do you? Oh, Here she is. It's a Matthew Anderson. It looks so great. Let me Matthew tell you what's Anderson. happening. You don't know what's happening with this. At 10 Matthew Anderson? They, not up with the dresses. <gasps> they were very upset about what happened, I guess, in the fountain. 
with uh -huh. ruining the dress. They felt like it was a slap of disrespect and unprofessional. I fell in the ca I, it, was, it was an accident. Uh, nah, I asked. Whatever it was, they took it like you disrespected them, and they were exactly. very upset. I called exactly. Ruben on the phone. I talked to him for about 10 minutes. How could she say that? You know, I fell in, whatever. Like, it's caught on camera, and now it's going to be on TV. So, like, well, not now, but back then it was. So if she told Kaimila it was an accident, it didn't mean to, and now she's watched the episode, she's going to be like, never working with Janice again. Do you know what I mean? Really weird. Weird, 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 weird. They did bring the dresses here. They are here. They want. They don't want to make a big spectacle of it, and they'll, they want to deal with it later. On the most important day for okay. the agency, I walked into a major storm for the whole Kai Milla fiasco. Thankfully, but you did Peter it. had it all taken care of by the time I arrived, so I could concentrate on presenting the agency to the rest of the world in the best possible way. Cool. Huh? Cool is boring. Cool. Let's go. All about Janet, girls. Technically, my agency had been open for several weeks, but this red carpet ceremony was to tell the world that I have arrived. I have the ability to have the press show up at my doorsteps in droves because of the celebrity, and it can only help my business. That's the love of my life, Nathan Fields, my son. <laughs> Seems my mom doesn't really seem to mind the attention. Obviously, the press loves her and she loves them. I'm a little more shy when it comes to that kind of stuff. I like to stay behind the camera if possible. Oh, well, there Doing we the are. The red carpet was cake. You know, I could out pose, out model any of them. I'm the best there is, bar none. Y'all know that. Eat your hearts out. Look, I'm the world's first supermodel. I know how to pose. There was a slew of press, including Inside Edition, TV Guide. It was a huge party. It was a big success. For 32 years, I have always wanted to be that businesswoman. Today, I have succeeded in opening a business, struggling as a single mom, working my ass to the bone, having coined the phrase supermodel. You want to know the industry? I am the industry. And I am now here to work for these guys, my models, that I will be an honest agent as opposed to all those paid liars that, that I have worked for. Oh, my goodness. That was quite a speech, wasn't it? I like her Today outfit. Straight. I'm going to put women of flavor on the covers of the magazine where you belong. That's what we need in America, diversity. And these are just a few. Working Where's the Claudia? We're an agency in Hollywood, California, USA. Oh, look at Sorry. All my hopes and dreams just came to fruition. Well I love the fact that they edited that, though. That was some amazing amalgamate of, like, the entire season so far. Just like, oh, hooray, Janice is open. Yes, rejoice, peasants. But she has provided the models. I didn't get that vibe at all. What did she say there? She was just like, I'm going to do all this and do all that. And it's just a TV show. It's just a reality TV show at best. The fact that she was saying, like, I've been in the industry for so long. So why did you go frolic in the fountain in a one-of-a-kind dress for the designer that you're apparently meant to be winning as a client? What? All my hopes and dreams just came to fruition when I got in front of the cameras and I saw my models looking like models, knowing that I'm not on the brink of success any longer. I've hit it. One... Two, You've had three. two clients, sis. As a mother, and as a mother agent, I had my son next to me, and I had the kids at the agency. Eat your heart out, Tyra! Ah! God bless all of you! Eat your heart out, Tyra girl! Okay, so this is the event that I kind of I expected. It was a small little big thing. It, it was pretty big, cameras everywhere flashing. Janice, look here, it's like unreal. A huge red carpet event, tons of press, and it was the first one I've actually been to. It's kind of interesting that they're framing it as like, wow, look at this industry that I've just been born into, like just been brought into. Wow, look, there's cameras everywhere. There's Janice. Instead of it being like, right, what we're going to do is teach you how to be professional in this situation. You need to go over here. You need to do this. You need to not fawn over the fact that there's cameras around you because those can very easily paint you as like not knowing that you belong. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's a lot to be said for the phrase fake it till you make it or act like you belong. I feel like act like you belong is actually more of an appropriate phrase because it doesn't actually mean that you faked something to get where you are. It just means that you know that you belong. It's very strange that they went with the angle there of like, oh, everything's amazing and I'm just so happy to be here rather than being like a genuine, like teaching them how to be like genuine supermodels. But then I guess that's because this show is not a modeling agency. This show is Janice Dickinson's a celebrity girl. They call me Stina from Elton. 
parties for the models to be at, for them to feel. This is the end of the episode. The people out there applauding their success. I'm happier than a pig in. I won't lie. You haven't done models anything yet. Be on a magazine covers, not celebrities. It was a lot of hard work preparing for this day, but it's all been really worth it. My dream is starting to become a reality. There's that model that she hated. And I feel like that I am the luckiest woman alive. Was Claudia there? Was, is Claudia in this picture? Guys, only like four pixels can barely tell anyone. Reality. Is Claudia there? Is Claudia there? No idea. And I feel like that I am the luckiest woman alive. Horrible photo. Wonderful. Amazing. Next time on the no. Great, she's the most luckiest woman alive. Is she all wonderful? She's done what? What's she done? She's been unprofessional in a fountain with a one of a kind dress is what she's done. Well, my loves, I'm going to push away my laptop there and take out my Ochenger. So, let's talk about this episode. This episode's feeling was so different to the episodes that we've seen before. There was that little bit of drama of her getting completely, like, moistened in the fountain. Ugh. But the pacing of this episode was completely different to the other episodes of this season. It wasn't like, oh my god, drama, there's things happening, wow! It was like, we even saw her, like, spraying her windows and cleaning them whilst getting her hair done and then saying, I must water the plant. Uh, like, I don't know. I don't know, you know. I don't know what this what this even is. What is this season? So I would love to know if you guys in the comments have seen this show before. Try not to give any spoilers. I don't want to hear any spoilers, my loves. I wanna I wanna experience the drama for myself. Is there in later seasons more of like a storyline based reality TV show? Or is it just a collection of snapshots that's kinda like from the mountains of madness that is Janice Dickinson's mind. Anyway, my loves, let me know what you think about what we've seen today. I feel a bit, I don't know, we didn't really see a lot of much this time. It just seemed to be like we're going to the white party. We're going in the pool at the white party. Kai Miller said, no, I'm not working with you girls, but you can have my addresses, which means that kind of puts it into perspective a little bit. Maybe Janice is the client in this episode because the idea that they said, yeah, we're still giving you the dresses. If this was a business arrangement of like business to business with, um, with maybe like promotion at the heart of it, would they have given the dresses to the agency to wear on their models after the way Janice behaved? I don't think I, I don't think I would if I had a product like that and it could be destroyed by going in a fountain and having an impromptu photograph situation with your hair designer who's not a photographer and then use the most hateful lighting possible and the most awful angles. I don't know if I would be like, mm, I'm gonna give you all those products that you can use. I don't think I would. I don't think I would. And with that, my loves, it's time for the Patreons. You can see yourself scrolling past here. Yes, you can, my lovelies. And I want to say a massive hello and welcome to Nazim al Kadir. Thank you so much for joining the Patreon. Today's Twitch shout out goes to Virgo Lassie. Thank you so much for following me over on Twitch, you stunning woman on the go. And if you want to be in with a chance of being featured in my next video's Twitch shout out, make sure you follow me on Twitch. It is Luxaria Plays, and I stream two nights a week. I don't know why I said it like that, but there we go. And once again, I I want to say a massive thank you to my top tier Patreons. Aloria, Stephanie Neotupski, Laura Ali, Dr. Dream Morella, Steph Utech, Orcos Samoji, Abigail Ash, Beebles32, Caitlin Coating, Shell Herman, Christina Kyles, Man. ContraPoints, Crafty Leaks, Danielle, Ow. Dr. A, <laughs> Jevod, Elizabeth Stone, I Go Go Yubari, Jared Pavlovsky, Jen Martin, Jenny Hendricks, Caitlin Wright, Min Min TM, Moisten98, Mariah Sherman, Nixie Tricks, Paolo Rivera, Pink Caramel, Princess Lilium, Rachel the Sea Biscuit, Romano, Ryan Vita, Sasha Smith, Sexy yeah. Texy RN, Slampire Queen, Ow. Succubus Lena, <laughs> Trapperful, Tromo, Victoria Carella, <laughs> Victoria Waldock, and Zaya Naza. And with that, my loves, I'm going to leave it on the note of if you're in business, try not to offend your clients because clients are the ones that pay your bills, sis. <laughs> Professionalism will get you a long way. It's not necessarily what you know, it's who you know and how you behave. And with that, my loves, I'll see you in the next video.